Okay, so BTEC Acting Certificate, the unit is Principles of Acting. This is the second assessment, Blackbird by David Harrower. And this is Harry Lee and Tanisha Eastow. A bitch she called me. He laughed. Where did you find me? Some photo in a magazine. Where? Some magazine. trade magazine. Promotional, glossy magazine thing. In the waiting room. Doctor's waiting room. You know the thing I'm talking about? Yeah. There's a photo on the back of it. You and a group of people. A team at least, they called you that. You won some awards, some excellent sort of performance. So what, you saw a photograph? You saw this photo? Do you have friends? <laughs> and it, you... Friends. So of course I have friends. New right? friends or the same old ones. <clears throat> Your eyes are red. They look like they're singing. <laughs> How did you feel? Don't rub them. A photo? So you drove here? Yeah, do you want to see it? No, I don't want to see it. But you know that Yes. Like... Stop rubbing them! They hurt! Because you're rubbing them! I rub them because they hurt. It's the only way to stop them from hurting. So you drove here? Yeah. How many hours? How long did it take you? I don't believe. Is it me? Am I making that happen? Are you allergic to me? You're just not going to talk. We're going to walk outside. We're up on your feet. We're going to walk outside. We're going to walk You know, I wrote you letters. Letters? They... I never got any letters. They were when? never sent. When was this? Or what did they say? I wasn't meant to send them. They told me, the people who helped me, they... who afterwards... to write you a letter. Letters. Telling you what I thought of you, what I felt, what I wanted to say to you. And to not let it... Not let you have win authority. Authority, what's? I wrote a hundred. Your eyes, I wrote that I wanted to pull out your fucking eyes. Poke them out, stamp on them. The eyes that looked at me, the hands. All kinds of things. You know, I've still got them. You kept them. The best ones. I still read them sometimes, the fury in them. And I had to write about hope. They got me to write about hope. What I was able to do, what I was free to do now, what the future held. The promising future, the promise the future held. In spite of you, despite you, regardless of you. You didn't answer my question. No friends, Joe, I'll sit by you. What do you think? I think the fact is... six, seven hours to drive you for what? Because in You had to make me suffer. I wouldn't call that. You're right, suffering. Rub them more then, harder. I didn't have to talk to you. I could have walked away. I'm under no... Like this man. What man? The man that dropped the litter. It's not the litter. It wasn't the litter, the dirtying of it. What's the man doing that? He hasn't been schooled, educated, civilised enough. I thought if I walked into his house and dropped litter on his carpet, the streets, the pavements, they're not my house. I don't care about the streets. Well, you, well, you still are a beast. No one has ever cared for you properly, and you're too stupid, too stupid to realise that. So if you did, you would let people see what, see what you are. You don't even know you exist. I asked to speak to Peter and Ray up here. This was pointless. Absolutely pointless. Can you see that? Can you not see that? Can I tell whoever it was? No one. The people who helped you. I stopped seeing them years ago. They're not there forever. The doctor. The, the confrontation. The, what do they call it? The face to face. I didn't agree to this. No. You don't have the right to my, my humiliation. But where I work, where people are colleagues, my work colleagues, coming in asking for me. I have nothing to say to you. Some kind of ghost walking in here out of nowhere. Go, go back home. Go home. Do you think I still live in the same city? I don't know. I don't know where you live. How will I know that? You know, I do still live there. Out we, of here. We never move. Go back there. Go back. You know, I do feel like a ghost. Everywhere I go. I read that in my letters too. You made me into a ghost. People would talk about me as if I wasn't there. They wouldn't let me speak. Go outside and go on. Go outside and breathe some air. Get some air. Get into your car and stop being a ghost. Because this, this should never have happened. 
Are you feeling any better yet? Is this doing you any good? Yeah. And that's that, is it? I have nothing to say to you. You're beyond... How the hell is this good? Tell me. Except you can't, because you, you don't know why you're here. I tell whoever it was. Nobody, I told you. Well, I don't care. And you going? I don't care. Don't it's, go! It's not my responsibility. Ray, don't leave me. Ray. Don't leave me in here! do things. I have to go and check on some things and after when I go back tonight I have places to be. People are relying on me, you know. What, what are you doing? See, the thing is, I don't even know if it really is you. If, if you're her. I am, of course I am. I didn't recognise you. Yes, you no, did. I didn't. Your face I don't. Was white. No, no, you no, no, not when I saw you. A woman's here to see you. That's all I was told. And I said my name. Yeah, but I know the names. Jesus, I know the names. I mean, you could be a friend of hers. Your hair's a different colour. You're not. A, a journalist, a, a reporter, I don't know. I don't know what any of this is supposed to mean. How many of the 12 year old girls have you had sex with? None. Do you want to see the birthmark? You kissed it. All what you said to me on that beach, pointing across the sea to Holland. All on that bed in that room. None. Do you know, we change 12 year olds. We grow up to be older, so think. None. Just me then. In that room. You know, I thought it'd be harder to look at you. To talk, I almost turned back. But it's not, it's easy. And I would have recognised you anywhere with my back turned to you. I saw your eyes before I said my own name. I saw you. Do you have someone? Do you live with someone? You don't want to tell me. I know you're with a woman. The way I was looked at outside, the way you were looked at as you walked towards me. Is she a good woman? Is she you? I would me? not talk about is her. Is she expecting you home? No, what do you want me to say? Is there anything you want me to say now? Does she know about me? I would not talk about my life. Who is in my life? And if that is what you wanted to find out, and I don't know why you would want that, but you are getting nothing! Do you understand? Do you understand? You know, my dad died. You didn't know. It didn't reach you. Six years ago, maybe you weren't here, maybe you were somewhere else. I was here. How? Tripped and fell down some steps. He deteriorated. You know, he never got over it. You weren't guesting at home, I was his baby girl. He invited you as he guessed into our home. He tried to find you. He knew where I was for the first four years. He wanted to kill you. Not a second thought, he said it all the time. It was... You know, he would have killed you. What's in there? What's in your bag? What's in it? No, what are you doing? You're gonna kill me. Yeah, I was gonna clean it for you to death. Oh, and that's acid, not water. Then when I saw it, the, the photo, it's not clear, but I knew it was you. I tore it out to get home and get looking at it. The name below, Peter. Peter. You know I'm so slow sometimes. You changed your name. Yeah. Is that difficult? No, it was, it was very easy. But I mean decide. Decide on a new one, choose a new name. Is it, is it hard? How many do you, do you go through? Do you make a list? Chase the name at random. How? Opened up the phone book. Can they tell on the donkey? <laughs> kind of. What's your full name then? P. 
Peter, Peter what? Trevelyan. No. Peter Trevelyan? Yeah. Where the hell did that come from, Peter Trevelyan? Under tea. It was necessary. Jesus, Trevelyan! <laughs> did you... God, no, that... That's to the man who born the silver spoon! From an phone book at random! Were you delirious with the delusions of grandeur? Because Jesus, the rich sleep, sleep with young girls too, underage girls, ruin their lives too! In fact, the rich must have as much sex with young girls as the poor. It must be neck and neck. If it does the job, if it does it. Command respect, and how you forget. Enough! 